All right. Just, just got this tank probably January. It's a five pound cylinder for CO2. It's been holding the, it's been holding my CO2 pretty well for the last few months there. But uh, recently I thought that uh, I was just running low because I've been using it a lot and it's lasted me quite a few months there. But uh, then I realized within one day the pressure dropped without any use. So I suspected a leak. And what do you know? I heard a hissing between the valve here and the tank. Actually, I could kind of feel a little bit of the air or the CO2 shooting out. I feel like going out in my truck get the proper bubble testers, but a little bit of uh, soap from uh, dish soap here, and uh, let's just see how bad this guy is. I don't know if it'll. Uh, come on, focus. There we go. Alright. That's a big one. Slow leak, but. There's another one there. It's just leaking all around the thing. No particular one spot to it. But uh, it kind of pisses me off a little bit, you know. So I'm gonna see if I can exchange it for another tank. I don't know this one's got a slow leak, but I don't understand how the, this just starts. There's no no vibration or anything like that, you know. It's it's all the way down. And it's flush with the tank. You can't tighten that anymore, you know. Like I said, it was. The inspection date, I don't know where it is on here. I think it's this uh, 0510. Maybe that's uh, May 10 or May 2010. Not sure. But it's definitely within its inspection dates. It's certainly going to fail its next inspection, that's for sure, unless this valve is replaced. There's a little chip right here, but it's just on the edge right there on the flange. Hmm. Oh well. Adios.